What is up guys, welcome back. Today we're doing an empties video. Yeah, I mean, I just have a box that lives in Amanda's closet over there. And she has told me that it is overflowing and that I just need to get down to business. So here she is. Empties are an amazing opportunity for me to let you guys know how I'm feeling about things that I worked my way all the way through and whether or not I plan on repurchasing them if they were very, very good kind of thing. Also, my voice is still in Batman mode. That's how empties work. I got all dressed up because I'm overcompensating for the fact that I feel like total garbage. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and jump in, guys. It's a rainy day. I, this is just where I want to be, you know? I just like need to feel the creative expression and the communication, the connection, and this is the best way that I know how. And that just means that sometimes I have to push past feeling a little less than. So let's start at the top here. I found this when I moved. I didn't even know that I had another one of these living in my stash. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. It was such a mainstay and I feel like YouTube cannot shut up about this stuff to be honest. And I'll, I will be honest, I don't think it's like that big of a deal, you know? I think everybody loves the way that it smells because Amika stuff smells really, really good. But like past that, like if you don't want to smell like hair product all the time, I just use Batiste fan. Like any dry shampoo is going to leave a white cast on my hair and then I let it sit there for a second and I get to contemplate what I'm going to look like when I go gray, which is, you know, fantastic. And then I brush it through or I blow dry it out and it just kind of is what it is. If it works, it works. Oh no. I think it's time to install the hardware in the cabinets downstairs so they're gonna drill holes for a while. Okay! I'm going to throw to future khaki when they are done. But the answer is no, I have not repurchased this. I really only bought this at cost when I had my Texas cosmetology license, which I don't have here in New Jersey. So I would have to pay full price for this. And I don't want to do that. So I just buy Batiste and it's the, it's the same. It doesn't matter to me. But that's very exciting that they're installing the hardware in my cabinets. Awesome, I'm gonna go put pajamas back on. See, see you soon, future khaki. I'm ordering sushi. Hi there, welcome to a day later in my life. We're just gonna pick right on up where we left off. I sound about the same as I did yesterday. So the continuity's really there. Okay, next, let's talk about this. This was like a pretty long, this was a long process and I got my thoughts together pretty early on but I like finishing things like this if they're not perfect, but they get the job done kind of thing. I like to be able to tell you guys when I did finish something, but I wouldn't recommend it. And that is the case here. So this is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double Cleansing Balm. A lot of times I have this issue where, oh, 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 we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that camera. I feel like I just have this like battle with my camera. There you are. Wow. <clears throat> I feel like so much of the time my complaint around cleansing balms is that they are a balm that breaks your makeup down but doesn't then transform into a milk and rinse clean. That is not the issue here. And the hot oil part of it is actually really fascinating because it does warm on your skin, which is pretty cool. It's pretty warm, but it's pretty cool. But the problem is it very much tingly stingly's my eyes. And that part is the reason that I will be skipping this going forward, which is a real shame, Beauty Pie, because this is a pretty affordable product. You get a bunch of products. You get 3.38 fluid ounces, and there's no real fragrance to speak of, like at all. And I mean, obviously it didn't annoy me enough that I didn't finish it but I just didn't really appreciate the irritation on my eyes. And there are just so many other cleansing balms out there. You might say we are just a wash in cleansing balms and I'm just gonna go back to my good molecules because it's also very affordable and it doesn't irritate my skin or my eyes at all. So far, we are 0 for 2 on repurchases. Next, this is the Beauty Pie Brazilian Lime Fig Leaves and Tea Body Lotion. Wow. 
That is a loved bottle right there. The smell of this is sublime. Oh my lord in heaven, that smells so good. <laughs> However, lately, you guys, have, if you've been keeping up over here, uh, you know, playing along your bingo cards over there at home, you will know that me and body fragrance, like heavily fragranced body products are on the outs. I'm finally healing all of this acne and everything on my skin and it is because in large part I have like switched over to things that are on the whole like unscented and it just this is so 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 beautifully fragranced and a very very nice nourishing formula but like it is so heavily fragranced like that was the a whole reason I wanted it. <laughs> it smells phenomenal, but like I can't do that right now. I would repurchase this if my skin could take it, but it cannot. And it's not specific to this product either. Like I haven't been able to use my Aesop or anything else. Everything else breaks me out. So we'll not be repurchasing this. Next, this is the Olaplex number six. I might be a broken record on this one. Again, I just went over this in my, fa I want to say a favorites video when I was talking about my new skin, like body skin regimen that's been helping with my KP and my body acne. I had just repurchased this. So I've already repurchased this, but I'm not going to use it. So this is the Olaplex number six bond smoother. And it, again, oh my gosh, it smells euphoric. It is just a heavenly smell. Oh, there's still like, I guess when all the stuff that was stuck to the sides kind of like knocked down, there's a few more applications of it then in there, but I can't use it because A, whatever the like silicone in it is, like it's irritating my back, but I think it's mainly the fragrance and it was breaking me out like crazy. So even though I have already repurchased this, I'm not going to be using this one, the rest of it or that one. Oh, for four. <laughs> Next. Oh, that's not empty. Oh, that's right. It's not, but it's super expired. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. So yeah, this is the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. And you saw me, I was like, wait a second, I could still use that. I have like an interchangeable, I just, what would you say? Like a brain shelf, right? Of face cleansers, things that work just fine. <laughs> this is one of them. I like the Glossier, actually my eye milky jelly cleanser. I have a small bottle that I'm like almost done with of the Youth to the People Super Food Greens one that smells like tomato leaves. I love that one. And the Herbivore Rose, Rose? Pink Cloud one. They're all Wonderful. I think Pink Cloud. Yeah, Pink Cloud. I finished that one too. They all kind of live in the same liminal space in my brain of unoffensive cleansers that get the job done. And I kind of keep them all on rotation. And while I was pausing on this to try a few other things, this expired and it smells like rotting dill. I don't understand, but I like pumped some out in my hand and I was like, no, no, don't put that on your face. <laughs> All of my instincts said, do not put that on your face. So I don't really know how long I've had this, probably much longer than the 12 month claim on this. I don't think it's anything wrong with the product specifically, but I, that is why she's in the empties. I will absolutely use this again. Again, they're kind of like all on an even keel. If I had to like put them in a hierarchy, Milky Jelly Cleanser would be number one. This one would kind of share a space with the superfoods one from um, from you to the people and then I would actually put the pink cloud like the lowest let's go ahead and talk about her so yes would repurchase absolutely this I got from herbivore from the company and I really liked this entire routine it's very nice I really like herbivore products. I think that they're lovely. I have been really, really in love with their new vitamin C serum. I like using their Luna, Luna oil. It's not the Luna oil. That's Sunday Riley Lapis. Their Lapis like clearing oil. It's wonderful. And it smells like blue tansy. If I could smell like blue tansy all the time, I would. The only reservation that I have about recommending Pink Cloud is it does sting my eyes ever so slightly. It is very much right in between formula wise, the Good Molecules Rose Water Cleansing Gel and the Glossy Milky Jelly Cleanser. I kind of feel like they're going for the same thing. They're even going for the same like SEO terms, but it does have something in it that like tingly stingly my eyes just 
ever so much. And again, we're awash in these kinds of things. It's not as if there is some kind of gap in the market. And so I probably won't repurchase this one specifically because it did irritate my eyes. Because when I'm doing my cleansing, I like to be able to just go, you know, and to the point that like when I go and wash my kids' hands after dinner, and after he eats, I will always take like the damp rag and I wipe it on his face and I go, oh, and he's gotten now to where he goes when I do it. And it's like the best thing ever. Too legit, too legit to quit. I really did think of that off the top of my head, but I've probably thought of it off the top of my head before this. So this is the Tula Probiotics and Superfoods Mineral Magic Oil-Free Mineral Sunscreen Fluid Sunscreen. Yeah, that's what you sound like when you have a stopped up nose. Broad spectrum SPF 30. Wow. I like this so much. I have already bought another one and I'm already like working my way through it. I was, ah, oh, there's a little bit. I had to surprise it. I wanted to show you guys this in tone versus the glow screen because I've had a lot of questions about that. Now, keep in mind, glow screen is a chemical sunscreen. The Tula is a mineral sunscreen. So there we have the super group and there we have the Tula. I do prefer the Tula. It's a little bit lighter, a little less shimmery, but man, we are splitting hairs. It is really just about whether you want a mineral or a chemical sunscreen. But I marvel at the Tula for being such a good mineral sunscreen while leaving so little cast on the skin. They're doing all sorts of stuff downstairs. They installed my chandelier today, guys. That is so loud, what are they doing? Anyway. <laughs> so the answer, the quick answer here is yes, I have already repurchased this, but I did want to show you guys this. I recently started accepting PR from Josie Marin Cosmetics and they just sent out this Get Even Sun Milk and it is their new SPF 33. Broad Spectrum SP... <sighs> Broad Spectrum SPF 33 Mineral Sunscreen Cockadoo Super Fruit Blend and Sheer Argan Hydration. Coming off of a chemical peel where my skin was so thirsty. She was a thirst trap. My husband just learned the term thirst trap and now he uses it on everything except what it's actually meant for. It's very funny. We're awesomely old. But anyway, yeah, this is very beautifully like hydrating and silky, milky, dewy on the skin. Like just looks lovely. Now, that's a white cast. Make no mistake, you know? It's going to, like as you rub it in and stuff, it's gonna leave kind of this pearly finish on the skin. It's not golden, you know? So it might not be quite for everybody. Of course, it's going to disappear on my skin because my skin is transparent. But it's so lovely. And I don't think it has a fragrance per se, but like the cockadoo plum and all that in there, it smells so good. Mm, it just smells like naturally fruity. Not like Danessa, no offense, but not like the Danessa Myricks tutti fruity scent that she has in her complexion products lately, but like, mm. and the, I mean, just that's dried down. And it has like the prettiest, like, you see that like the difference between my hands maybe? You see how this hand right here is like kind of reflecting the light a little bit? It's nice and it feels like a barrier, you know? So it is titanium dioxide 3.15% and zinc oxide point, I'm sorry, 4.08%. But yeah, they just sent me this in PR. I've been using this and it is also really, really lovely. Like really, really, it's just so pretty on the skin. Mm. I love when skincare products happen to smell nice. Not that they have a fragrance added to them, but like that smell of like the cockadoo plum and whatever else is in there, or the smell of blue tansy, like, yes. Things that happen to smell really nice. So this is the Caudalie Eau de Beauté. I have two of these in my empties right now. I was real, real hooked on these for a while. And then my winter skin said, no, thank you. This was still, like, even though it has a lot of really, really great stuff for my skin, it still was, like, working against my skin being so thirsty. It was making it a little bit dry, and so I had backed off of it, but I am using it a little more sparingly now. It does have, like, oils and stuff in it, but it still is a little bit astringent, I feel like, maybe. Not totally sure. 
It's wonderful. I love it, obviously, because I've, you know, moved through it. They did bump the price up by a buck, I want to say, for a bottle, which is great. But either way, I do love this. I already have some on hand. I don't know if I'm going to, like, keep repurchasing it, though. Like, I have it in my Sephora sale cart, so if I can get, like, the sale discount on it, maybe. But... I don't know, it's like the magic comes and goes sometimes. And right now my skin needs like the most moisture. <laughs> Speaking of the most moisture, oh no. I hold in my hands $260 worth of empties. <laughs> $130 for these. This is the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242. I will quote Charlotte Parler. If, it, if I could find anything, I'm paraphrasing, but if I could find anything that worked this well for less, I would absolutely use it. But it's $130 a bottle, never really goes on sale that I have found, and I still buy it. And I have already repurchased it. I'm working my way through another one. And I will say, if I use just this as my moisturizer, it don't last very long. What I've taken to doing is using other things to like hyaluronic acid serums and things like that. I have this really pretty one that I just got from Osea, which I found out I'm pronouncing wrong. It's not Osea, it's Osea. They sent me some other stuff too, but they're hyaluronic acid. And then I'm also using some oils and stuff. And then, you know, I don't have to use quite as much of this because if I just rely on it solely, like I will go through it in less than a month and that's not okay. <laughs> It's so expensive, but I'm hooked. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. This is another moisturizer, and this was the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. Or, here we go. Soin Visage Préparateur Riche Crème. Uh-oh. L'Urgeuse. That's a lot of ease and use. Just seesawing back and forth. And I am out of my depth. Anyway. This is my another one of my attempts to figure out what my skin wanted before I found the Triple Lipid Restore. And this is fine. I just feel like it's kind of a young moisturizer. <laughs> Every day that passes, <laughs> I just realize how expensive my skin is becoming, you know? Like my face skin, she just has the most specific high-end taste. Did it not cost $400? Did you not have to harvest it from the Dead Sea? You know, and she's just gonna like reject it. I don't know, she's very pretentious. But either way, this was fine. And I tend to use these kinds of things when I am doing a lot of makeup try-ons because I gotta put moisturizer on after I cleanse my face, but like I don't wanna I don't wanna put on my skin suticles and then rinse it back off again. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing to do. So uh, I'll use something like this and that's how I got through it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Also, it smells really, really strongly of lavender. Oh my God, <laughs> I didn't see there were three. There are three! <laughs> to be fair, one of these was gifted to me by Derm Store, but man, they just did that thing where they got me hooked on it and I just keep buying it from them, so who who really wins here, right? Here's another SkinCeuticals product. This was also part of something gifted to me by Derm store. This is the SkinCeuticals Daily Brightening UV De Defense Sunscreen. My mouth and my sinuses are just not in sync today and they're just not listening to the things that I would like them to do. I finished this pretty quickly. I went through really quickly. This is the Broad Spectrum, oh my God! Broad Spectrum SPF 30 lotion, but it is avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. So it is a chemical sunscreen. And when I ordered all this stuff from Derm Store, like they let me pick it all out. The Tula was one of them and this was the other one. And I tried basically, obviously, okay, khaki, give a sentence out, a mineral and a chemical sunscreen. I ended up liking the mineral one and this was fine. It was fine, but I went through it so fast and it's super also strongly scented, I wanna say. <laughs> oh, I can't tell and I can't get the doggone lid off of it anyway, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it. Man, I am on the struggle party bus today. My goodness. Oh, here is a miniature of the Caudalie Eau de Beauté that I went through also. So that is um, basically two and a half. And here is one of the last 
soldiers that went to trying to uh, help my hair out before I just had to switch over to the Drunk Elephant because it's the only thing that doesn't break my skin out. But I did really enjoy this. This is the IGK Legendary Dream Hair Shampoo. And to my nose, it smells kind of like Palo Santo. Like it's a really, really lovely smell. It's like a sweet, blonde wood kind of smell. I really liked it, but uh, for all of its microbiome, prebiotic, and red algae, it was a lovely, lovely shampoo, but still the scent continued with the breakouts. They were no worse, no better. Aha! Aha! So this is what I will be repurchasing in lieu of the Beauty Pie Cleansing Balm. So this is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm, and this is my like, you know, my usual one that I would typically go to. It's 15 bucks if they haven't changed the price on it, and you get 2.5 ounces, so just a little bit less product, I wanna say, but it's so good. It's just so good. I don't really even have to use as much. It's not as goopy. It's very like, just like a thin, balmy wax. And it really, it really just does the thing. So this is the one I'll go back to. Although I wish that they would put it in glass. They have so many other things in glass. This is a little tiny guy of the Ultra Repair Cream, Intense Hydration Skin Protecting Colloidal Oatmeal. I think that what I did is like out of desperation, I went to the last thing that had sort of worked. You know, even though I don't feel like my skin completely loves this, I feel like it does kind of clog my pores a little bit, but yeah, this is from First Aid Beauty. This was the most moisturizing thing that I had found for my skin recently. Actually, you know what it is? It's not that it broke me out, it's that it stings a little bit. It's got a little bit of eucalyptus in it, I think. Yeah, it's like the last ingredient, but the eucalyptus just kind of stung my eyes. So I went back to it out of desperation, bef again, before finding the SkinCeuticals, but it's just not as good, unfortunately. So I did empty it, but I don't wanna buy it again. Here we have the gel primer for the new face. This is pretty much the bottle that they give you. <laughs> that they give you, they don't give you squat. It's so expensive, but it's what comes with the new face when you buy it. And I bought the new face a long, long time ago. It's this device that basically uses like electrical microcurrent to like flex the muscles in your face and lift everything. And I think that it works really well. I like it a lot. I ended up getting another one of these, but they have come out with a bunch of other ones. Like you can just use aloe. Like, you know what I mean? You don't have to spend a fortune on their brand of like the priming, whatever. Since it's really hard to like rinse it off because it's supposed to kind of stay on your skin, they had one that had like skincare benefits that I actually wanted. And so I bought it because I was like, well, I want to use the new face and I don't want just random, you know, the CVS brand aloe all over my face every night. So that was what I did. And that's what I'm using right now, and it works just fine. But I emptied this one, and I just, it says hydrating leave on formula, and I was like, yeah, but like, if I didn't want to leave it on, I would like to be able to rinse it off. And I like couldn't even rinse it off. It's so weird. It's so weird and slippy. You know, it just kind of reminded me of like when they, when they give you a sonogram, you know, and they've got it in the heater and the you know, on your big pregnant belly. That's what this reminded me of. <laughs> it was basically what it is. Okay, so this is the Kosas Chemistry Serene Clean AHA deodorant. So this is the scented one. And let me tell you, you would never know. <laughs> the scent is so indistinct. I mean, there's just nothing there. It's kind of fantastic in that respect. My only issue was, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like it broke. And I don't even like travel that much or put my products through that much. And I don't think my kid got a hold of this either. So this one I feel like ran out faster than it should have just because the packaging failed, which is a tad annoying, but this thing does last like a year anyway. Like when was the last time you had a deodorant that lasted you a year? And I have already repurchased a replacement, but in the unscented version and I've gotten my mom hooked on it. You know, Necessaire sent me a bunch of stuff and they sent me their new one. I don't know if they have an unscented, they probably do, but they sent me their eucalyptus. And I was like, well, you know, I'll use it. It's got the same active ingredient, the mandelic acid, but it makes me smell like a farmer's market. Not in like a bad way, but just like so specifically, it's like <laughs> that Patrick Ta lip gloss, the new major volume lip gloss. I'm like, this smells like Michael's at Christmas time. Like, that deodorant from Necessaire is so specifically farmer's market. Like I was like, whoa, I did not realize that like eucalyptus was the smell of farmer's market. So 
Yeah, if you didn't know that already, you want to smell like a farmer's market, that's the ticket. And it comes in glass, that's really cool. Oh my gosh, guys, it is not often, it is not often that I have a perfume empty, but this is fresh life. That <laughs> I bought this perfume before I went cruelty free. <laughs> And I finished it after we finished our cruelty-free journey, and now I will definitely be repurchasing it. It's the most, ugh, oh, nothing smells like this. And okay, so I'm going to like, I don't know, flex on a great conversation that I had, like weird flex, but okay. So I was sitting at this lovely restaurant in Brooklyn having breakfast with Ingrid. And she used to do a lot of work when she was making videos on YouTube with the owners of Fresh. They have since uh, been acquired and stuff like that and they've moved on to some really, really fantastic projects, but they are apparently just like creme de la creme, the loveliest people. And one of the owners, I want to say the, the, the father, <laughs> the father of the brand, he is very, very, what is that? What are you? What is that? What are you? What kind of animal are you? Are you an owl? Is that an owl? IDK. Um, I, <laughs> wildlife distractions. Apparently he's very passionate about scent and scent can be a very, very exciting thing. I really enjoy that this is not like the world's most expensive perfume. I think that you can get this guy for under a hundred dollars. It's the 30 milliliter, like the one fluid ounce. And it is the most elegantly executed everyday fragrance that I've ever smelled. Like you smell it and you're like, that doesn't smell like Ralph by Ralph Lauren, where it's like so distinct and so young and so bright that it's like, yes, it's simple, but it's almost kind of naive in its simplicity. This has an agelessness to it, like a wisdom to it. And every single time I wear it, Someone goes, what is that perfume? That is lovely, which is uncommon because A, scent is very polarizing, and B, I have a lot of fragrances that I think are really lovely that like some people smell and they're like, that is not my favorite. And I think they're pretty agreeable, you know, especially the My Daughter fragrance in uh, Joyful. I'm almost done with that one. I love that one, but like, I don't think very many other people do, which is weird. Like, I think it smells incredible. It's like this bright jasmine, like peony kind of smell. I love it. But anyway, this is so timeless, velvety, just so beautifully balanced. It's got some kind of like a little bit of like a powdery lily thing behind it, but it's also complex enough that it's got this like, like suede sort of thing to it. It's phenomenal. It's so good. And I will definitely be repurchasing this. All right, and finally, we have two things here. One is a brow pencil that I finished. I haven't finished a brow pencil in a long time, and I don't know whether there just wasn't as much in this one or whether I was just that freaking passionate about it, but man, I had a love affair with the Refi brow pencil, didn't I? I had it in, I wanna say medium. There, this is like, there's never any like writing on these packages. Like I get it, Jess, you wanted everything to be really austere, but I would like some information on what it is I'm holding in my hand. Like what if I had two of them or something? So it's a brow pencil. <laughs> I was just swept up in the moment. And finally, my eyes started itching and I realized that it's time to retire this tube of my Thrive Mascara. It's not that it's empty per se, it's just that I think I've been using it since like October or something. <laughs> So th the way that I get around the shipping costs on this, because it's $24 and they only do free shipping through Thrive for like $35 and over, is I just order more than one because <laughs> I know I'm gonna keep using them. So I think I ordered three and so I still have a backup and I gave one of them to someone. Who did I give it to? Did I give it to Amanda? I can't remember, but I think I donated one to a friend. But either way, yes, I already have a backup of this and I have the blue one, and I have another black one. Like, I always use the brown, but yeah, this is, she's my ride or die. Oh guys, I hope that this was at least somewhat entertaining and fun to like, you know, get a chance to have a break during your day because, you know, an empties video does not require quite as much thought. All of the thought has gone into the like front end, the back end, it's already been done.
<laughs> before I get on camera. You know, I already have my thoughts together because I've been working on them for, for months in some cases. Yeah, I just needed like a minute. <laughs> to have a video that I could just kind of not have to dedicate quite so much of my brain to because um, I just don't have that part of my brain to give at the moment. So I hope you guys appreciated this. I appreciate you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out, be on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!